Well, guess whose birthday it is today? Ta-da! That's right. We already went out to breakfast, but we forgot the camera. I had B's and G's. B's and G's. I had eggs and, and hash browns and bacons. Now, we are going to go out and do some antiquing around the South Denver area and uh, check stuff out for her birthday. And I'll show you a present I made for her later. That's right. All the birthday festivities. That's right. Greatest name ever, Lollygag Antiques and Boutique. Right. The doorman. All right. So pretty. I love shopping. The USSY. something now you guys may or may not know about depression era glass or vaseline glass or uranium glass as it is now there's three pieces here but look at that this one glows like that because it was actually made with a trace of uranium to give it the color green these ones are newer and don't have it but this one here is actually uranium glass let's get tested here usually it doesn't show up too well on my geiger counter here But the background radio feels like 20, 22. So now it's jumping up to over 30. So it's a little, this isn't an alpha detector. So there you can see it's really kind of clicking off now as it's picking up more and more uh, radiation from the uh, depression glass. So um, don't freak out. Um, depression era glass, depression era glass is actually, it's radioactive. And so are like Fiesta wear plates and stuff like that, but it's not like, something you need to be concerned about it's very low level it's like you know you wouldn't want to slip it out under your pillow type of thing but if it's in your house you wouldn't wouldn't be a big deal this place is big 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 yeah <laughs> all right let's see what we can find what is your little device called by the way geiger counter oh that's a geiger counter mm -hmm. Whew. who knew this place is enormous oh my gosh we're gonna be here for two weeks looking at this stuff hey did you see this other oh this is the wrong glass this is jadeite this looks like milk glass actually green milk glass oh look hob glass so cute check this out Oh my gosh, very unsuspecting. I never would have looked at that and thought, oh, I bet this one will. It's more. It's way more than that glass we found last time. What's the number on the top of it? And it's going to, well, we'll just go by counts to make this easy, but we're going up over 60, which is the highest I've ever seen this thing do. Really? Yeah, 63 right now. Oh my gosh. Have some little radioactive egg cups for your breakfast, right? Yeah, but look the coolness about this. I know, they're beautiful. It makes me want to start a collection and have it have it be in a black light case. It doesn't say how much these are. You could ask somebody for help and see right. if they happen to know. They're really quite cute. Yeah. What does that say on the bottom? Hans Hanks Craft. Okay, this is a 16-hole glass frog. What is a glass frog for, though? Uh, you know, I saw somebody d discussing it the other day, and I don't remember what they said it was for. I mean, obviously, you stick something in those little holes, and it holds them, but, like, what? I can't imagine. What is this little doll luggage? 
How oh. cute is that? And a little dolly igloo. It's a Barbie ice box. <laughs> okay, do you guys love it when you're in like a thrift store or an antique store and you see something that your mother had when you were a kid and you're like, oh my gosh, we had that exact same thing. It feels like you won the thrift store jackpot, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, look you guys. I told you sometimes pink and sometimes cream, huh? Right. We learned that from Radioactive Drew. It's high enough to make our alarm go We're off. 110 right now, 111, 113. Oh my gosh, and there's like a whole set of this stuff here. Wow. Yeah, this one particularly. Too bad it doesn't glow. I like the glowing <laughs> stuff a lot. I know, me too. <sighs> Glowing green plates. They're not. Oh my that. gosh. I have the matching teacup to this that says happy birthday. Oh, How wow. funny. Slated for destruction as usual. <laughs> Ooh, this higher. one's cute. Oh man, this place is off the hook. <laughs> I can hear you guys booing me. Stop that. <laughs> oh, the mantles in the lantern? They used to put thorium in them. I don't know how old these are. I don't know if it's... It doesn't seem that much higher than background. It glows with a green light or a green shade to it. Yeah. And only that part, not that part. Pretty hot, though. Weird. It's finding little <laughs> radioactive things. I know. I, so just just to be transparent here, I've been like totally on this atomic kick right now. So I've been like looking for this stuff. It's hard. true. He has. But it works in my favor because I enjoy poking through an antique store and now he does too. <laughs> oh yeah. Here you go. Found some know? more? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that so cool? That's neat. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I love the hilariousness of a cow cream pitcher. <laughs> right? Ooh, look at this great cake pedestal. So cute. Oh, here's another glass frog. You know what? Is this to stick flower stems through to to oh. keep your flowers separated in your vase? Yeah, that's a really good yeah. or something. Yeah. It's a really big opening. Oh, but yeah, with a really wide vase, then all the flowers would splay out to the side. But if you put the stems through the glass frog, then they would stand up in a perfect cluster. I'll bet you anything that's what that's for. I'm making this up as I go along, but I think it's a good logical guess. <gasps> wow, you did find the jackpot. Oh, I love those little teacups. <gasps> and the little dessert dishes on the bottom. They're so cute. It's only seven bucks for that. We should get one. We should start our collection today, huh? Yeah, let's get one of these little dudes right here. My little birthday teacup. Look at that. Radioactive. Really start cute. our radioactive adventure. Yeah. Oh, well. Look, see, we're going up. Is this, is this so radioactive that you would never actually drink out of it? Or what do you No, think? actually, it's not. It's, it's like. It's so very little. However, it's alpha radiation. So it's. So we're, gonna, we're just alarmed right here. Yeah, it was just. Wondering, like, right. should we get two or just one? Right, this is... Oh! <gasps> Jackpot! That's pretty radioactive, actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can, we, can we turn off the alarm so we can see actually how far this is going? <laughs> so the alarm doesn't, like, freak out everyone else in the store? Right. This is our first Fiesta wear find, for sure. Yep. They all say the orange, for sure. So gonna roll is in. the radioactive yeah. stuff. It has yeah. uranium in the ceramic glaze. Uranium oxide. So this one's ringing about... So we're at 1.7 milli 
Uh, no, we're at 10 and a half micro sieverts an hour. So, but to, to keep it in counts, we're at 2,900 counts. We were at like 100 on the last one. Wow. So to give you an idea of like this. Right. That's cool. So this there's is. the small plates, and then there's some saucers, and then there's a large plate. So this is going into the 33. About 3,300 counts per minute. Hey, check the um, check the cream in the blue just out of curiosity. It probably okay. isn't, but just for comparison. A little bit, huh? But that not like the that orange. could be that plate, actually. That was sitting on top of yeah, it? Yeah, because we're still picking Try up. the blue. Nothing at all. Nothing. Okay, that's so. interesting. Oh, are they selling this as a set? I see what they're doing here. Yeah, and then these, 15. oh, this is, they're also selling as a set for $28. Okay. You know, it would be really neat if we found another like teacup and saucer set in the orange Fiesta ware so we could have two different. Oh yeah, we'll keep an eye out for that. Yeah. That would, that would be cool. Another little specimen here. Yeah, it looks like it's a kid's cup glowing eerily. <laughs> oh my God, I love teacups and saucers. So here is an interesting find, and that is, this is a really old clock, and you've seen the show Radium Girls and stuff like that. Well, this is how this was produced. This is actually a radium dial, though it's not glowing anymore from radium. It might it in the dark, but this is like glow paint, but they put radium with the glow paint to make it go. So it's actually significantly radioactive. You like that? Crazy sauce. The perfect thing to sleep next to your head every night, right? <laughs> perfect. We just found the Fiesta Ware jackpot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cranking. That's radioactive like crazy. Counts. What about the big pitcher? Thingy. Carafe, maybe? What would you call that? It looks like a carafe. Yeah, carafe. Decanter ish. That is so cool. Counts. I love these big, wide, shallow bowls. Nothing in yellow. Nothing in that one. But I bet that orange plate is hot. Spicy hot. <laughs> 2700, that one's kicking. Oh, this one's really hot. The orange platter? Yeah, 4100. Wow. So 28 micro sieves. That's the highest we've counted in here. Oh, so is far. it? Yeah. Hey, there's the orange carafe in the back. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the we one. see radioactive Drew finding these in antique stores all the time. So we're talking about radioactive Drew. We'll, set, we'll put a link in the description. So this is the has to work carafe. Oh my gosh. I like the handle on this one even better than the one with right. wooden handles. So yeah, kind of That's cool, a, huh? how much is that one? Uh 58. Oh dang. Expensive but very cool collectible. Yeah, totally is. I feel like some kind of a radioactive sleuth <laughs> going through the store and seeing what we can find. Kinda are. Yeah, I totally. Found That's something true. cool? This might be cool. Oh. And it's a saucer. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, you touched on everything, right? That's fiesta Do you want to go back and get one of those cups? Let's keep this with us and see if we find it's very close to the match, but the plate seems a lot big for this particular cup. Yeah, let's keep looking, but we can come back if we want to. And this doesn't seem like the right, the matching set either. No, it doesn't. The ridges in this are completely different are than different the lines too. in this. Yeah. yeah, we need to find the right and also, yeah, maybe set. Yeah, just find the right set. Okay, I just spotted one, you guys. I was like, check that teapot right there. Because sometimes the uranium is just in the glaze mm -hmm. on the surface. But it has that almost slightly yellowish look, and that's what gives it away as being... Uranium, but that would be neat to go with our little orange. Check this out though. Because it has orange flowers on it, it would yeah. go well with our orange teacup when we find it. Right, totally true. But it's a little pricey. <laughs> Thank you.
opens, huh? That orange one? Yep. <clears throat> exactly the same one we have. See, and then look, here's the other color of orange. This color of orange is much more recent. Yeah. And they're not using the uranium and hold them up next to each other. That's why they could achieve this vivid dark orange color. The uranium, right. I think, had something to do with I think that. You're right, 100%. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, those ones are good. Yeah, they are. How much do they want for those? $14 a piece? Oh, those are great. Shine the bed. Are they all oh, part of. That's a whole set of six? Yeah. Oh. I want to start doing my little teacup crafts again. Oh, is Where that is different oh, than Oh, look that? at that. Yeah, it is. <gasps> I totally called that wow. the last time we were here. I want yeah. that All right. for my birthday. It's her birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it today. It just came in last I week. I so totally we spotted that when we were here a couple of days ago. Yeah, you did. It just came like last week. Yeah. That's a good one. That's what I remember looking like. What to come back with a What pot. is that, a salt dish? It's a little salt dish. Oh. Dude, that might be, that's that kind of glass, babe. Well, we'd have to come back with a black light. It's a salt right. dish, right? Do you have any of those salt spoons? Okay. This is so exciting. Oh, they had an accident a second ago. Oh, That's why you have to I know, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. Salt well, is that what they called it? Salt dip. Salt dip, oh. Oh, salt dip. That's so cool because I loved that little salt dish when we were here last time. Did we not have the black light that day? We must not have. No, and we, we couldn't get, the Geiger counter didn't read it through the glass. That's why we walked away from it before. Right. But man, I spotted that little sucker. I love small things anyway. You guys know this about me. So getting a little salt dish and then I'm gonna have her look for the little salt spoons too to go with it. I think this is a glass humidor. I thought it was a cookie jar at first, and I was like, no, it's, they just spelled it wrong. Humid, oh, humidor, they put er instead of or. This is, this is a, also a radio <gasps> And it does for glow. Glass. And what does this one say Cheese on box. it? Cheese box. No way. <gasps> cheese preserver. To oh, keep too. your cheese at a cooler temperature than air temperature. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those are neat antiques. Is that to the be price? Also, 85 yeah. and 125 oh, for look, the humidor. <gasps> wow. That's kind of a decanter. 48. Four pieces. Look mold. at this one, too. Dresser jar. Look at this. Oh, Another that one, too. Came over. I don't see anything. Checking going the out. marbles. No. Nothing. That would have been cool. <laughs> we found another place next door. Bye bye. Guess what Mike just found? Oh my gosh, gosh that is insane. Is it just glass though? Like a like the glass of our plates? Yeah. Glass, oh, what does that say? Glass flower frog. Yeah, there you go, you were right. Totally nailed it, there's a whole bunch of them. These little set things were pretty freaking. Yeah, and under these glow? Common, no, I thought that one was going to. Yeah, I'm telling you, before there were shakers. This one is. There were those little dishes. Slightly. Oh, look at that, fancy. Oh, these ones do too. I really like the one I got at that other place yeah. though. See that handle? So oh, unique. Oh, we found the They're mother unique, load. Yeah. No, yeah, no, that was very common. I thought they were candy dishes. What does this say? Serving dish. Oh, and that other one said sandwich tray. That one also super bright. Yeah, we love that one in the back. Turns out it's a little sherbet dish. Oh, that is also quite unique, isn't it? Wow. wow. 
See if it uh, has any. Oh yeah, it's pretty hot. It's talking to you. It's not like the Fiesta wear. Nothing's like the Fiesta wear. <laughs> Fiesta wear just might just be dangerous even. Right. <laughs> Okay, we're back from our outrageous antiquing adventure. Here's what we brought home with us. The glow-in-the-dark salt dip, the glowing cup and saucer, the glowing egg, what are they called, egg, egg cups? cups? Yeah. And the orange one doesn't glow, but put your thingy back on it again but it goes crazy when you get the Geiger counter on it. What is that? It gets up to like 3,000? Almost 3,000 counts per minute, but if you want to get like about 17, 17 microsieverts is the dosage. It's, 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 it's a pretty small micro dosage. <laughs> dosage. Like, it's something that people ate off of for years and they didn't even know. But uh, right now, this is what we were seeing in our house normally right now. And I'm, I'm five feet away from it. Yeah, right now it's reading at uh, 0.1 microsieverts. And what did we say it was on there? It's 20? You're allowed like 30 millisieverts a year of radiation exposure. So, I mean, we're so far away from that, even with these in the house. It's no, the, the, the greatest danger of us having these in our house is that they're going to get crashed because we're driving a bus. Right. <laughs> now we just have to figure out where to keep these right. so they don't end up destroyed. But they are cool that they glow. And believe me, we have had some glass breakage in this bus in the year and a half we've lived yes. in it. <laughs> the other cool thing about these, all these things are here are right around between 1920 and 1930, at least. It's all age. depression era stuff. Yeah, this is really old stuff. They stopped putting uh, uh, uranium because uranium became super, super wanted in, in 1940 because of the war effort. And so before that, um, you know, they would use uranium and put it in glass for the green color. They'd use it to make uh, uranium oxide for the orange color and the Fiesta wear plants. So all the stuff we bought is fairly old. Look, we can show the bottom. Mm. Fiesta. Genuine Fiesta. Pretty cool if you ask me. Hey you guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. We just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek on how our collection has grown since the filming of this video. Check this out. And we're no longer going to antique stores where you're sure to find radioactive items, but you're going to have to pay premium prices for them. We've been going to thrift stores and finding things for like 99 cents, $1.29, $1.59. Oh my gosh, right? And we upgraded our, our uh, Geiger counter to a better Geiger counter, so we're finding stuff a lot easier. So let us know if you want to see more videos on what we've been doing and what we use and if you want to see some of these items available on Etsy. Hey you guys, thanks for watching and uh, since we're posting kind of erratically right now, uh, subscribe and hit that bell so you know you're notified when we're posting a video and we'll show a lot more of this stuff Hey, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Love ya. <laughs>